an art and a universal gift to everybody to impart knowledge. It is something that you can do anywhere, anytime. It can be a tremendous way to learn, relax, and even escape boredom. A very good morning to everyone who is present here. I'm Alina Taha from Stan Standard. As we are on the occasion of the closing ceremony of the National Reading Week, I invite you all to this very wonderful event. Some stars shine at night, and there are some stars that also shine during the day. Our principal, Miss Annie John, is one such a bright star, and I welcome her to this event. The essence of great leadership is influence and not authority. It is my honor to welcome the respected chairman, Mr. Emil Shadi, to this function. It is also my pleasure and pride to welcome all the teachers and my fellow students and all respected parents to this grand ceremony. The windows to knowledge. Reading elevates the soul. The level of human consciousness is constantly updated due to the reading. It polishes the intellect of all men and women by awakening their spirit. It purifies the mind by activating the memory cells. I hereby call upon Ms. Amina for her recitation on The Phenomenal Women, written by the world foremost writer Maya Angelou. Amina from 10th Standard. Phenomenal Women by Maya Angelou. Pretty woman's wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or bold to suit a fashion model size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. I walk into a room, just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellow stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swam around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes and the flash of my teeth. The swing in my waist and the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. Men themselves are wanting what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner misery. When I try to show them, they say they still can see. I say, it's in the arc of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breast, the craze of my star. I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand, Tess, why my heads are not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I see. It's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care. Because I'm a woman, phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. And that's me. The habit of reading lights up on the darkness in the life by enjoying the power of knowledge and inculcating the sense of confidence in the reader. So now I call upon Niranjana and Nair of 7th Standard for her very impactful recitation of Irulin Mahanidre by the most famous poet and writer in Malayalam, Sri Madhusudan and Nair. Over to you, Niranjana. Namaskaram. Ende beru Niranjana ennayar. Nyan MA yum English Medium Public School le 7th class vidyarthini aanu. Nyan innu V Madhusudanan Nayar rajicha Irulil Maha Nidrail enna kavithayaanu paayanam cheyan pogunathu. Irulil Maha Nidrail ninnu nartini niramulla jeevitha pili thannu. Irulin maha nidrail ninnu nartini niramulla jeevitha pili thannu ende chiragina aakashavum nee thannu ninnu aatma shikarathil oru koodu thannu 
ആത്മശിഖരത്തിലൊരു കൂടു തന്നു ഒരു കുഞ്ഞു പൂവിലും തളുക്കാറ്റിലും നിന്നെ നീയായി മണക്കുന്നതെങ്ങു വേറെ ഒരു കുഞ്ഞു പൂവിലും തളർക്കാറ്റിലും നിന്നെ നീയായി മണക്കുന്നതെങ്ങു വേറെ ജീവൻ ഒഴുകുമ്പോൾ ഒരു തുള്ളിയൊഴിയാതെ നീ തന്നെ നിറയുന്ന പുഴയെങ്ങു വേറെ കനവിൻ്റെ ഇതളായി നിന്നെ പടർത്തി നീ വിരിയിച്ചൊരാകാശമെങ്ങു വേറെ ഒരു കൊച്ചുരാ പാടി കഴയുമ്പോഴും നേർത്തൊരരുവിതൻ താരാട്ടു തളരുമ്പോഴും ഒരു കൊച്ചുരാ പാടി കരയുമ്പോഴും നേർത്തൊരരുവിതൻ താരാട്ടു തളരുമ്പോഴും കനിവിലൊരു കല്ലു കനി മധുരമാകുമ്പോഴും കാലമിടറുമ്പോഴും നിന്റെ ഹൃദയത്തിനാണെൻ്റെ ഹൃദയം കുരുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു നിന്നിലവയം തിരഞ്ഞു പോകുന്നു അടരുവാൻ വയ്യ അടരുവാൻ വയ്യ നിൻ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ നിന്നെനിക്കേത് സ്വർഗം വിളിച്ചാലും അടരുവാൻ വയ്യ നിൻ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ നിന്നെനിക്കേത് സ്വർഗം വിളിച്ചാലും ഉരുകി നിൻ ആത്മാവിനാഴങ്ങളിൽ വീണു പൊളിയുമ്പോളാണെൻ്റെ സ്വർഗം ഉരുകി നിൻ ആത്മാവിനാഴങ്ങളിൽ വീണു പൊളിയുമ്പോളാണ് എൻ്റെ സ്വർഗം നിന്നിലടിയുന്നതേ നിത്യസത്യം നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം the habit of reading for the better future of our motherland india this vision is fulfilled only when we are uh, involved in reading i now welcome first nishan of 6b for his book review on wings of fire by dr apj abdul kalam over to you first nishan i am first nishan from standard 6 so today i am here to give you a review of a book which i have read wings of fire Wings of Fire is an autobiography biography of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam who is our former president. It was written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Arun Tiwari. Through this book Dr. Kalam examines his early life, effort, hardship, fortitude, luck and chance that eventually led him to lead the Indian Space Research, Nuclear and Missile programs. It is the story of a boy from a humble background who went on to become a key player in Indian space research and Indian mass missile co- programs and later became the president of India. Wings of Fire is an account of a young boy who tried to who tries to achieve his achieve his dreams beating all odds. This story emphasizes the importance of family, friends and relatives. helping in achieve each other's goal and turning dreams to reality yes nothing is impossible in this book it teaches us how we can achieve our dreams and the most important thing is how we how we can manage the failure the it is the best book for children because it is a real story a real success story thank you everyone have a nice day stay home stay safe Careful listening leads to interesting reading. It goes without saying that when we hear a good story, we also feel like reading the next one. I call upon Prathana of 2B to tell us such a story. Prathana, to step forward. Hello, Namaskar. I am going to tell you a story about the story. I am going to tell you a story about the story. I am going to tell you a story about the story. ഒരു നാട്ടിൽ നല്ലവനായ ഒരു രാജാവുണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരു ദിവസം ആ രാജാവിനെ കാണാൻ രണ്ട് സ്ത്രീകൾ കൊട്ടാരത്തിലേക്ക് വന്നു അവരുണ്ടോരും ഭയങ്കര വഴക്കായിരുന്നു ഒരു സ്ത്രീയുടെ കയ്യിൽ ഒരു കുഞ്ഞുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അങ്ങനെ രാജാവ് ചോദിച്ചു നിങ്ങൾ എന്തിനാ ഇങ്ങനെ വഴ കൂടുന്നതെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു അപ്പോൾ ഒരു സ്ത്രീ പറഞ്ഞു രാജാവ് രാജാവ് ഈ സ്ത്രീ എൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞിനെ മോഷ്ടിച്ചു അങ്ങനെ മറ്റേ സ്ത്രീ പറഞ്ഞു രാജാവ് രാജാവ് ഞാൻ മോഷ്ടിച്ചില്ല ഈ സ്ത്രീയാണ് അത് മോഷ്ടിച്ചത് അങ്ങനെ അവർ രണ്ടുപേരും ഭയങ്കര വഴക്കായി 
ഈ സമയം നമ്മുടെ രാജാവിനൊരു ബുദ്ധി തോന്നി രാജാവ് മന്ത്രിയോട് പറഞ്ഞു ഒരു വലിയൊരു വാളെടുത്തോണ്ട് വരെ അങ്ങനെ മന്ത്രി ഒരു വലിയൊരു വാളെടുത്തോണ്ട് വന്നു അങ്ങനെ രാജാവ് പറഞ്ഞു ഈ കുഞ്ഞിനെ രണ്ടായി മുറിച്ച് രണ്ടു പേർക്കും നൽകാന്ന് അപ്പോൾ ഒരു സ്ത്രീ പറഞ്ഞു രാജാവ് രാജാവ് എൻ്റെ കുഞ്ഞിനെ ഒന്നും ചെയ്യില്ല അവൻ മരിച്ചു പോകും അപ്പോഴാണ് രാജാവിന് മനസ്സിലായത് ഇതാണ് കുഞ്ഞിൻ്റെ യഥാർത്ഥ അമ്മയെന്ന് മനസ്സിലായി കുഞ്ഞിനെ യഥാർത്ഥ അമ്മയ്ക്ക് കൊടുത്തിട്ട് കള്ളം പറഞ്ഞ അമ്മയെ ജയിലടക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു അമ്മ രാജാവിന് നന്ദിയും പറഞ്ഞ് വീട്ടിലേക്ക് പോയി ഇതിൽ നമുക്ക് എന്ത് മനസ്സിലായി കൂട്ടുകാരെ ഒരമ്മയ്ക്ക് സ്വന്തം കുഞ്ഞിനെ വേദനിപ്പിക്കാനാകില്ല എപ്പോഴും സത്യം വിജയിക്കും എൻ്റെ കഥ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടോ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ കൂട്ടുകാർക്കും ഈ കഥ പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുക്കണം കേട്ടോ നന്ദി and poems because of my lovely teachers and school I'm studying in. I'll call upon Aisha Mariam Sabu of Standard 6 for a book review of Toto Chan, The Little Girl at the Window by Tetsuko Yonagui. Over to you, Aisha. Hi all! Are you ready for it with my favorite book? Okay, let's go! We know our childhood experience has a clear impact on how we experience as world adults. My favorite book, Toto Chan, The Little Girl at the Window, published in 1981, is an autobiographical account of Tetsuka Kuronayagi. When she studied at Tomo Kakuin School of Tokyo in Japan, The story is narrated in the vision of a six-year-old girl, Toto-chan. The book describes her childhood naughtiness, the friends she made, the vibrant atmosphere the enjoy in her school. It also shows how education should comprehend both the development of our body and mind. The characters also deserve a special mention, especially her mother, who is an example of strength and strong, and of course, Suzuki Bayashi, Toto's own master. And the backbone of the book, the book itself is a dedication to him. The book reflects the hurt of a child, and we should approach that in such a way the reader gets a roller coaster experience of. All the emotion of our life. The book has been translated to 30 languages across the world. No wonder why it became the best seller in Japan. So dear friends, never miss a chance to read and enjoy it. Thank you all. The word reading does not have many synonyms and can be rephrased only by reading. There's no substitutes to enhance reading experience of a dedicated reader to speak more about reading. I invite Amjida Imam of class 7. It's over to you, Amjida. Hi everyone, good morning to one and all. My name is Amjida Imam. I am studying 7th standard. Today I am presented here to say a few words about importance of reading day. First of all, I want to speak some quotes. Books are a uniquely portable magic. Stephen King Reading is a conversation. All books talk, but a good book listens well. Mark Haddon A room without book is like a body without a soul. Cicero Today is a reader, tomorrow a leader. Margaret Fuller The habit of reading is one of the best qualities that a person can possess. Good books can enlighten us and lead us in the di right direction. Reading develops language skills and vocabulary. It is a good exercise for our mind. Reading good books help us develop positive thinking. We can gain lot of knowledge and information from books. New ideas and thought comes to mind by active reading. Books are indeed the best source of knowledge and information. Reading has its own importance and pleasure. It makes our mind and body relaxed. So let's all make this as a habit and grow with the bodies. Thank you. Have a nice I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for spending the precious moment with us on the closing ceremony of the reading week. In the era of online classes and examinations, 
we all find a lot of time to research on our subject and to improve our reading habits. I wish to reiterate that reading is the only remedy during this testing times for the pandemic to improve our knowledge. Let us not to fail to share this knowledge and to be a responsible citizen for the great country. My school and teachers for giving me this opportunity. I do hope that I have been a good reader. I invite Anjali SR of class 9 for the vote of thanks to close this ceremony. Anjali, please step forward. A very warm good morning to one and all. Respect to principal ma'am, chairman sir, dear teachers and my dear friends. It is my privilege to propose the vote of thanks on the occasion of closing ceremony of reading week of our school. We are very grateful for our school management, principal ma'am and our teachers for giving us such a nice platform. Also, I owe special thanks to the all participants who have worked very hard to ensure the success of this program. Once again, thank you all.